Thank you for watching. This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. My name is Elsie Godwin, and of course, on this program, we analyze the biggest entertainment stories and definitely have lifestyle conversations. I have my co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Shanke. Hi. Hi, what's up? How you doing? Last show of the week. <laughs> hey, okay. All right. It's worth celebrating. But, okay. but we will be back. Mm, definitely. Uh, of course. Of course. We will be back. Okay. Um, moving on to this controversial conversation. Period is not an excuse to have attitude. And this is coming from DJJ. That's what he's telling ladies. So joining us virtually to have this conversation is the executive team lead, Sanitary Pad Media Campaign, Funke Treasure. Hello, Funke. Hello. How are you doing? Hello, everyone. Good Hi. afternoon. Okay, so um, what do you think about that submission from the DJ? Well, um, it just reminds me that um, of what we did when we were starting this campaign in March this year. We started with a campaign targeted at men because we know there's a lot of misunderstanding, misconception, and uh, total lack of understanding, actually, about what it means to bleed as a woman, mm. to drip as a woman, to menstruate, to put it that way. So we made it hashtag, what if men menstruated? Mm. So that they could begin to walk in our shoes and feel what we feel. Having said that, and you can check that out, um, on Twitter. Having said that, let's look at what it means to menstruate. First of all, if 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 you're at, depending on your biological makeup, you could have hormonal imbalance. And when you have hormonal imbalance, which I, I'm going to you know uh, focus on uh, in this conversation, when you have hormonal imbalance, it is not of your making. It's your body reacting to some chemical movement inside of you. Sometimes for me, it results into mild depression. It took me years to know that, why is it that I'm always like this at you know, particular times of the year, of the month? There is nothing wrong with me. I'm a happy woman. And then it took me time to realize that I was reacting. I, it was, it, most times it would be pre menstrual, you know, before my menstruation comes up or afterwards. So you find this, this mood, this dark mood. Sometimes you break out in pimples. Sometimes you're just irritated. If you Google the hormonal imbalance, you see that women, you know, suffer from this. So it's so unfair for a man to say, why do women have attitude when they're menstruating? Come on, girls. You should be used to it. You never yeah. get used to it. This is a biological phenomenon. Mm. If men could just drip for a day, you know, and, 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 and experience what we experience. Some people, you bleed for seven days. It is a long mm. time mm. Yeah. to drip. Yeah, definitely. Some are content with heavy, heavy menstruation, and with it, they're irritable. It's mm. not of their making. Yeah. It's just the, you know, I, the I, hormones inside of them. I like you know, that. So you, it's unfair. It's unfair to say that. I like that you are um, addressing it to men, because I think a lot of the times, away from his tone, and maybe this person in particular, I think a lot of the times men do genuinely want to understand because they can't. Um, and it's something that they would never really know except we take the time out to explain. But I also um, wanted to get, get your thoughts on the women as well that think that some people are very blessed. And unfortunately, I'm not one of them that have really good period pains. It comes, they don't even know that it's coming. And then when it's gone, it's gone. It's very easy breezy. And I think some of those women as well don't really have the type of sensitivity that they should in regards to this conversation. How would, if, if you were in that position and you saw somebody like that, how would you address that conversation? I just ask the person to look at his fingers. They're not equal. And we're not the same size. We're not the same shape. So how we react to our biological, our biological makeups are different. Mm. I could do, I could go through menstruation and for the five days, I'm just easy, you know, breezy, no problems, just as you've, you've you know, described. Mm. Other people, the moment it comes, it is pain, mm. pain for seven days. For some people, it's heavy, you know, um, a, a, a dripping for the next five days. Some do this for three days. So nobody, we're different as our faces are different. So our, our 
biological makeup as well. So I would tell the person to um, try to empathize with those who do not have regular, ordinary menstruation. All right, so madam... It, it's just it's what it is. Hmm. Just put yourself in their shoes. Just All live right. for a day. What if men menstruated? What will it look like in the world? All right, so Madam Treasure, I had a conversation with a woman, so as not to sound insensitive or to, for me to put it out there and a lot of men come for me and all. So I had a conversation with several women, but one particular one caught my attention. She was like, um, she, although she was clear about it, that she has her own monthly flow easy for her. She's never had any pain, so she was clear. So she said she may never be able to put herself in the shoes of other women that do not have it so easy. But she said, um, it, she said we shouldn't totally dismiss what this guy is saying because if we're fighting for equality, if we're saying that women, <laughs> it's a woman, I didn't say it, that if we're fighting for equality, if we're saying that women should earn the same pay as men, that it shouldn't be something that should be brought into the workplace, especially the professional we environment. we fight for men to bleed as well? No, no, I, I, it's well, not me. Ahead, it's ahead. not me. Mm -hmm. That um, you shouldn't bring it to the professional space and have people snapping at different people. So what I want to ask really is that should we have like a time off for women when it's the time of the month for them at work in professional spaces? Thank you very much. When we did our campaign, our second campaign in the month of May, this was one of the things I asked for, menstrual leave. Mm. And this is done in other parts of the world. Just yep. surprise you that in Asia, yeah. quite a number of countries in Asia gave their women menstrual leave. I can't remember readily now, I think it's Zambia, Zambia yeah. uh, that has menstrual leave in Africa as well. Yes. That, see, it's the, it's the reality of some people. Once that time of the month comes, it is. It comes with a lot of trepidation. It comes with a lot of pains and a lot of the the flow is heavy. Mm -hmm. It is only humane for you to understand and identify with such people that I know. See, COVID has taught us that we can we can work from home. Mm -hmm. What will it take you to say, okay, if you're having this sort of unusual flow or you have irritation or panic attacks, like I have panic attacks mm -hmm. also when I'm when I'm menstruating. What would it take from you to say, okay, take two days off, take three days off, and then work from home? It saves the person the stress of having to deal with going to the ladies mm. all the time and having to look for water, having to keep a straight face in the office. Look, we're women, and that's how God has created us. If you're lucky and you're, you do yours and there's no drama, good for you. But for those who have drama come along with theirs, mm. it is not their fault. And if you can give menstrual leave as an organization, as a one-man business, as a corporate organization, fantastic. That's what we are asking for. Mm. We're asking that the, the, the menstrual leave be incorporated into the labor laws of Nigeria because women contribute a lot Definitely. to Thank the you. revenue generated by the country. Thank you, Funke Thank Treasure, you so for, for your time. insights on yeah. this conversation. Thank you very much. Okay. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, there are, there's a group of people I also want to bring to this conversation. You know, there are people, we've mentioned those who go through a lot of hormonal imbalance, and then the ones that just oh. easy peasy. There are people who don't even know what it's going to be for them at a particular month. Mm. So they wake up this month, it could be pimple, yeah, mm. that's nice. Wake up next month, it is, you cannot get up yeah. from your mm. bed today. Mm. And the other month, and it is crazy. I think I'm on that table, and yeah, that's why so I'm too. speaking yeah. for us. Yeah. So um, for those who don't understand it or haven't gone through that kind of pain before, um, like she said, maybe we, in this contents we should probably address them as men and say mm. think about it for a second if, if you, you imagine hitting your toe mm. on mm. a stone that's a good one you know and you have that every month that yeah. pain i know how crazy that pain can be so just imagine that and imagine that someone has to go through that whether they hit their leg on something mm. or not you know yeah. it is it is a big deal and somebody and I, oh, compared it to being stabbed on the same spot in this mm. pelvic area mm. for five days consecutively mm. and mm. then see Some people, then when you're about to yeah. heal up up the following months so it starts stabbing you mm -hmm. in that yeah. same spot mm -hmm. again i wanted to say some, something that you mentioned in your question that if you claim for equal okay. rights and then blah 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 i think because um it, I, I don't know maybe people just really need to understand when we say equal because i think that human females have to experience this thing because they experience it doesn't mean that they can't fight for equal rights you have to still value mm -hmm. the person 
with the shortcomings of, I won't even call it shortcomings, I'll just call it the natural phenomenon that happens to women because of that. If the lady had an attitude, just because she wanted to have an attitude, we would not be having this conversation. Yeah, but when I said, we're not totally disregarding what, what um, he that has guy said, was like, saying. Totally, yes, yes. There are women who just want to have we'll an attitude. Milk it. And if he yeah. said that, we even won't, the their pregnancy as well. Well, mm. I mean, <laughs> I, I just, I just, I don't, I, you see, even that statement for me, I don't think any man is really allowed to have, not even man or woman, anyone is allowed to have that type of conversation. Why well, you're yeah, not the one in, sitting in the person's shoes? Because away from period. No, but and, we know we, women have, have actually had this conversation where they have admitted to milking that situation because it is working for them and they are getting the attention. So it's not like it is impossible or we've not heard it. Women have had that conversation. But bringing that into this, this sort of conversation, serious conversation. No, it's not. Probably yeah, not it's but not, does yeah. it happen? Yes, it does. Okay, that's happen. what I'm trying. I don't think it's a time mm -hmm. for that. I don't even think it's a time to start questioning people's equality rights because they're menstruating or because they have an attitude because I'm not they're menstruating. That. I'm, I'm, saying I'm I addressing. Spoke to I'm addressing it. And mm. this I'm is addressing. What he said. I am a woman, addressing a what you have brought man. up, Ife. All right. And because a woman says it doesn't mean it's right. Now you can rubbish the statement. I'm just saying it's a question, so okay, don't make it look like I said it. this woman. Anyway, shall let's move on. It's time for a quick break, you, you but still when we come back, we have right? more to discuss.